before you hire a consultant for your business, even us, Riderflex, <laughs> before you hire a consultant, and I've done episodes on this before, I want to recommend that you truly, as an executive, owner, CEO, founder, whatever, visit with your people, your current team members, the associates at ground level, especially if you're in a company where you have some people in the office and some people in the field, really visit with those folks, ask questions, listen. Visit with the ones that you know are going to be brave enough to truly share with you what they think and don't have uh, any consequences for uh, people that share stuff that might be painful to hear, right? Isn't that interesting? I've seen for years and years, I've seen companies hire consultants and the consultants will deliver it straight, right? Like unfiltered feedback that can be emotionally painful for founders and CEOs. And they'll think to themselves, wow, this is so refreshing that this consultant is sharing this information with me. Well, I really needed to hear that. And then they praise the consultant, you know. Meanwhile, the team, your current team, probably had all of that feedback and all of those answers for you if you would have just visited with them and listened uh, and not thought of them as negative Nancy or neg a negative person, negative energy, uh, just because they're sharing. I really believe 90% of the time, answers for companies to improve are within the current team. If you'll just visit with the right people, because they know, they know the business, they're living it day to day. But somehow, we, we, we've we convinced ourselves that an outside consultant can come in and do a, a, a two, three week uh, overview and then give you all these answers and you pay them a lot of dollars. Right. Meanwhile, Johnny and Mary, they, they've, <laughs> they're like, why are they paying consultants for that information? We we've been saying that for years. Now I've done episodes on this before. One of my primary points though, that I want to mention today and what I really want to highlight is the qualifications of a consultant if you do bring them in. So first, make sure you visit with your current team and get all the answers from your current team. Do that first, okay? If you have exhausted all of that and you really believe you need to bring somebody in from the outside, do yourself a favor. Bring in somebody that has actually lived it, okay? Not some... Uh, Ivy League, uh, uh, polished, um, cufflink, uh, expensive consultant that has never actually run a company, been an executive in a company, been through any hard times or experiences, never actually lived it with themselves. All they know is what they got from their training course at the company that they were hired by, you know or from their uh, college courses. <laughs> I, mean, I always love that. I always love that when I get a consultant that says they can give me answers. And I'm like, well, have you ever been an executive in a real company besides the consulting firm? Have you ever like run a company, started a company, been an executive of a company, founded a company? Have you ever been through a turnaround, like a real turnaround, not as a consultant, but as an employee? Like, have you ever actually been to war? Or have you only studied about battle in the classroom? <laughs> so what was my point there? Oh, my point was hire consultants that have been to battle, real battle. Okay. That's my advice. Um, if you think you really need to bring one in, hire somebody with scars, wounds <laughs> from, from battle, and they'll give you a much better perspective on uh, what, what you need to do. Um, as a company to improve whatever it is you're after. Okay. And there is your Riderflex tip of the day. Uh -huh.